Hello my dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel that is learning and programming with Chetan. Today in this particular video, we will going to discuss about installation of Java into our system and then we will see that how we can set path variable so that we can use various Java tools. And in later part of the video, we will discuss about how we can compile and execute our Java program. So let us start with Java installation. For that, first we have to go to browser and then we have to look for JDK install. We can download JDK from Oracle site. So here you can see that we have a lot of options based on operating system. So select the proper option as per your operating system. I am using Windows 64 bit. So let me install this one. So by clicking on this download JDK option, we will install the executable file of JDK into our system. I have downloaded JDK executable file from Oracle site. So let us install JDK into our system. Here you have to just click next and then you just need to set the path where you have to install JDK into your system and then you have to click next and you can start the installation process. So my dear friends after completing the installation process we have our JDK ready and installed in our system. So this is the path I have used for installation of JDK. You can use any path as per your choice. So here we have installed JDK that is Java Development Kit and we have also installed JRE that is Java Runtime Environment. If we'll go inside this JDK folder, we have bin folder and we have various libraries. If we'll go inside bin folder, you will find that lot of executable Java tools are there like Java C dot executable file is there. This is used for compilation of a Java file and for execution we have java.exe so my dear friends here we have seen that how we can install java into our system now let's see how we can set path variable now before setting the path variable we need to understand the purpose of setting the path variable so path variable is required so that we can use the java tools as we have seen in our jdk bin folder all the java tools are present so my dear friend let us first try to compile and execute a java program without setting a path variable so here i have created a small java program which i have already explained you in my previous video so this is a small java program i have saved it in my jdk bin folder so the only way to compile and execute a java program without setting a path variable is to save this particular file into a jdk bin folder if you will see that this is my JDK bin folder and I have saved my file in this particular folder. So let us try to compile and execute it. So start the command prompt. So for compiling this program, we have to go to the JDK bin folder location. Let us copy this path. So now I am here inside jdk bin folder let us try to compile our first java program file i have already explained you about this particular command in my previous video so here if you will see that our source code is converted into a byte code or we can see that a dot class file is generated for us in our jdk bin folder so let us try to execute our java program I have already explained you about this command in my previous video. Here you have to use java space your file name and you need to press enter. So here you can see that our output is generated. So by this way you can compile and execute your java program without setting a path variable. My dear friends now let us try to understand that how we can set the path variable for compiling and executing a java program. There are two ways. First, let us try to see a temporary way. So let us go to a command prompt. So we can set a path 
using a command as set path equals to our location of JDK bin folder. So let us copy the location of our JDK bin folder. And you have to press enter. So this is the temporary way of setting the path variable. But the problem with this approach is that it is available only for this particular session. Now let us try to compile and execute our first Java program by this approach of setting the path temporarily. So this is the file which I have created in some other folder which is other than our JDK bin folder. Let us see its location. So it is present inside F drive Java program folder. So let us try to compile and execute this program. We will go to the command prompt and we will go to the location where our java file is present. So we are in the directory where our java file is present. Now let us try to compile our java program. So here you can see that we have compiled a java program successfully and a dot class file is generated. Now let us try to execute our program. So here you can see that our output is generated. Now my dear friend let us try to see the best approach of setting the path that is we can set the path permanently so that there is no need of setting the path again and again. So let us see that how we can set the path permanent. For that we need to go to our my computer properties. In the properties section we need to go to our advanced system settings. And under this we have to go to our advanced tab. Now in our advanced tab we have environmental variable section. Now under environmental variable we have system variable section and we also have user variable section. So under user variable section we have to set our path variable. So click on new tab and create the path variable. Now its value is we have to give the location of our JDK bin folder. So here you can see that we have created our path variable. Now press OK. And OK. So by this way we can easily set our path variable permanently. Now there is no need of setting the path variable again and again. My dear friend now let us see that how we can compile and execute our Java program. Now let us first go to the directory where we have saved our program. So I am deleting the dot class file so that we can see the compiling process again. Now I am going into a command prompt. Let us go to the directory where we have saved our java file. Now I am compiling a java program. By using this command I am compiling my java program which we have already discussed. So my dear friends here you can see that our dot class file is generated. Now let us try to execute our java program. By using this command we can execute our program so when I am pressing enter so here we got an output as happy learning. Now in this approach we have seen that there is no need of setting a path variable again and again. Now this is the best approach of setting the path variable. So my dear friend hope you are able to understand that how we can install Java into our system and how we can set path variable and we have also seen about multiple ways of compiling and executing a Java program. Do like, comment and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for latest update.